I came up to Scotland to yeah to come here and to come in here to see if see if it fitted, see if I liked it, and see if they were happy with me, sort of thing. I know the manager. I've played against him a couple of times, know him from being in England, and he knows a couple of people at QPR. So I think last season it was a. There were some tentative inquiries around Christmas time, um, which didn't really come to anything. So, um, yeah, I knew it was maybe an option in, in the summer. Uh, spoke to the manager, spoke to a few people and decided to come up. Uh, came up for a week, a bit of training and played a game and just enjoyed it, yeah. So it's just, it just went on from there, really. And obviously the game went well because Bristol City are obviously a good opponent and uh, we played well and I scored the two goals first half and yeah, I felt good. The first goal um, just came inside and like, played a 1-2 with Higgy uh, and just like keep come out and just slotted it in the other corner. It was nice pleasing because obviously I hadn't played since probably going back to April when I was on loan at Gillingham. So it was nice to be out there and then obviously nice to find your goal scoring touch um, after that long. And the second goal, uh, just managed to get the, get the ball down and it sort of dropped on the volley and I just hit it. And I know the goalkeeper as well at Bristol City, I used to play with him, he's a friend of mine, so it was nice to score a couple past him as well. But no, it was, uh, it was pleasing because I'd worked hard in the summer on, but on my own and not a lot of ball work and stuff and it was nice to have a couple of days training and feel like you're preparing for a game so I was pleased with it. I think the way it is, the, di the distance where we are from second, third position now is probably about right on the balance of the season. There's been, obviously we're on a fantastic run but then we've been on a couple of bad runs. Um, let, we're just hoping that our home form's been good, we can get a, uh, some good games at home in, after the split and, and we'll be going into another purple patch as the season ends, that's what we're hoping for but yeah, I think we can't complain for being where we are um, if we hadn't have been in the top six it, I think it would have been a bit of a travesty, we've deserved it and over the season I think we've there's been a lot more positives than negatives Obviously the Celtic one was the first goal, it's meaningful, it was the first goal I scored, it was at home, it was the winner against Celtic um, yeah, so I've, I hold that one right up there um, I was pleased with the two against Hibs as well because um, we're going there. We owed them probably owed them one, um, and it was nice to get. It's a tough place to go. So it was nice to first half sort of be two 0 up. Um, sort of you got a good foothold in the game, and then we obviously wrapped it up, scored three away. It was a really complete performance. So them goals were pleasing as well. But all of them really. Um, the, I've scored some. The Kilmarnock one was. I was sub. I was probably disappointed to be sub that game. Came on after twenty, uh, had a hand in the first goal and then scoring the last minute. So, them them ones they're good. The, the, when you get winners in the last minutes or the last few minutes of games, you, you're always going to remember remember them. Um, and it was an, it was a tidy little finish as well. And I'm knocking on towards thirty appearances, which I haven't had thirty appearances in four seasons, let alone in one season. So, obviously that's the priority is to be here playing football and everything else is sort of like to the side for, for the whole season. And it's not like I've come out of playing regular football for the last three years in England to coming up here and playing regular football. I haven't been playing football, so I've been at home more than anyone. I've been at home every Saturday morning watching my boy play football. Um, a Saturday afternoon I'm watching soccer Saturday. That's been what it's been like predominantly for two, three years. So it's felt like I wasn't even a footballer really. So my main thing is to to play football and not have to listen to like Jeff Stelling and the boys, which is what I have been doing. So I'm just happy that I, that's where I am now. Quite relaxed in the change room. All the boys are in there, the team's named, and then the boys that are left out of the squad will probably go around and, and just give everyone their best, um, say good luck to the boys, and, and then it'll probably be left to the 18 and, and the members of staff that are in there. Yeah, and it's just doing your own preparation really, there's a couple of team talks, the manager will say his bit, nothing, nothing too heavy duty, um, some boys like to do a bit on the stretching in the gym or on the bike, stuff like that, others like to just sit there and, and chill out really, read the programme and stuff, um, I normally sit just in the middle there, um, I haven't got a spot, 
because you don't know if you're in the team or not. So it's normally the first eleven take there. But some people have their their regular spots, but I'm not too fussed about that. Just go where I'm uh, where I'm put. So there's, there's a few jokers in there. Um, Paz normally makes everyone laugh just just for being there, you know. So like he doesn't have to tell jokes. His jokes are probably the worst thing about him, but he's he's funny when he's not telling jokes. So yeah, normally Paz is quite a joker. Um, obviously there's 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 people in there. There's some there's some quiet people. I mean I don't even I don't even know what uh, accent Al Manis has got because I've never spoke. He's never spoke to me really. So there's a few quiet ones, but there's a few loud ones. Obviously uh, Gregory's a bit up and down. Sometimes he's dancing around naked doing his moves and other times he's, he's sitting there in sort of like uh, in thinking mode but yeah Nigel's quite lively in the changing room there's a, there's a few it's, it's quite relaxed and it's a good changing room I've been playing quite a lot out wide this season so I like to when I'm on the left I like to sort of receive it quite deep I like running at players and then coming inside and sort of linking um, and a few times it's, it's worked in the sense of making chances and, and scoring goals um, I'm, I'm a forward and I can play out front as well and I like I like playing out front. I've enjoyed it, I've played, probably played more often out wide this season. But I've, I've enjoyed it just as much as if I was playing um, either behind the front man or, or up top as well. Well, he's one of many that's done well. You know, he's come up, um, he's played at big clubs, but I think he's integrated it very well. And, uh, you know, it's always, you know, I know the players that are coming up, players that are already here thinking, well, is he going to be a big time Charlie? But he's mucked in. Um, and let's have a right. He scored seven goals, which you know, you know, have been invaluable to, to his getting points. So, now nah, listen, he, he's a quality player. He's got, you know, he's got Premier League quality, um, and he's fitted in very well. So, you know, we've been delighted with him. Yeah, I stay in Perth. I stay with Paddy Craig in in, in Perth, and it's been fine as long as um, playing football, getting your head down, and, and doing what you need to do. I'd rather be here in Perth, which is five minutes from. Uh, the, the main ground five minutes from everything really but personally as far as it goes as actually being here to play football it's been easy to settle in the, the boys have been fine everything's been everything's been spot on um, the only f negative thing that I, I can have is that I'm away from my family obviously I've got two young sons um, all, obviously my the rest of my family and friends as well you're away for for a lot of the time but like I said I'm, I've become accustomed to that and it doesn't I, it wouldn't bother me as much as it bothers some people that are that are away from their, their family and kids. I mean, uh, I deal with it and I'm sure the kids do. So you just get on with it really and it doesn't really, don't really worry me much. You can't have everything, you know I mean? It's, you've always got to give away something and just, I get, I get to go down there and see them. They were up last week for one of the games and yeah, I think that's enough. Obviously, um, we've only just cemented the place in the top six which is obviously a big thing for the club so um, I'd imagine that they'll be starting a plan for next year now um, I've not I've not spoken to anyone at the club about next year so far so I'm just I'm just looking forward to playing the rest of the games as many getting as many appearances as I can and then we'll see we'll see what happens but um, I've thoroughly enjoyed this season um, and I've got out of it what I intended to get out of it um, Hopefully there's more goals to come this season, but um, I can be pretty satisfied so far.